Welcome to the Animation Movies Recapped. In today's video, we will be summarizing the plot of a 2018 German-Belgian 3D computer animated adventure comedy film called Spy Cat. Let's be adventurous with this chubby little spy cat. Seat back, grab your snacks and enjoy. There was a small town in the countryside named Drabville. This town has little crime rate and its inhabitants live peacefully among themselves. In Drabville, there lives a cat named Marnie, a stay-at-home cat who is pampered by her owner, Miss Sunshine. Marnie is a huge fan of crime-solving shows and has plenty of detective toys. She spends all of her days watching TV and eating. One faithful day, Miss Sunshine and her cat have an unexpected visitor, who turns out to be Miss Sunshine's stepbrother, Paul. Paul arrives at his stepsister's house in a wheelchair. He tells his sister that he just got into an accident and pleads with her to allow him to stay under her supervision as a nurse all through his recovery. Miss Sunshine reluctantly agrees and pushes him into the house. She introduces Marnie and her brother to each other, and they all engage in a discussion at the dining table. In the middle of the night, while everyone is asleep, Paul sits outside in his wheelchair admiring how peaceful and quiet the town is. Paul is a professional thief and he has a history of unsolved thefts and crimes. He isn't paralyzed either as he truly in use of the wheelchair, it is all a ploy to easily carry out his operations in Drabsville. Paul activates his wheelchair to flight mode and flies across to a house where two of his partners await him. They burgle this house, stealing expensive paintings and jewelry and after they are finished with the operation, Paul flies with his wheelchair back to his Miss Sunshine's house. In the morning, the news of the burglary had already spread around the town. Marnie is in her room watching her crime show as Miss Sunshine prepares for work. Miss Sunshine later heads out for work, leaving just Paul and Marnie in the house. As soon as she leaves, Marnie comes out of the room and starts playing with her detective toys. She watches Paul closely and sees him cutting out a page from the newspaper, sticking it on an album, and placing it in his briefcase. Marnie creeps towards the briefcase and curiously opens the album. This album contains a compilation of so many unsolved cases across different countries. Marnie looks up and sees Paul standing on his feet dancing, so she takes a picture of him with her camera. Paul sees her doing this and tries to get the picture from her, but she runs away from him. He then lies to Marnie that he works as an undercover agent, and assigns her to solve the mystery of the latest burglary in the town. Marnie is so excited about this, not knowing that Paul has devious intentions. He puts her in a delivery box, along with her toys, and inscribes that the package is delivered to the North Pole. He later burns the picture she took of him. Inside a farm in Drabsville, a farmer prepares to slaughter one of his chickens to cook a meal. The chickens decide between themselves who they would volunteer to the farmer to use for the food. After a while, the hens collectively agree to choose Ethbord, the only rooster on the farm. This rooster doesn't agree with them and flees from the farm, with the hens running after him. These chickens run out of the farm into the road. On this same road, the delivery vehicle that carries Marnie is approaching. The driver is distracted by his phone and when he looks up, he sees the chickens in the middle of the road and hastily presses the brake. The force from the brake causes the back door of the vehicle to open and the box where Marnie was placed falls out onto the road. Paul and his team set out to burgle another house in Drabsville. This house has a guard dog named Elvis who sees the thieves but is too scared to attack them or even protect his owner's house. The thieves successfully carry out their operation, carting with their jewelry and paintings. The dog sees this and fears for his life, knowing that his owner wouldn't have it easy on him for not protecting the house. So, he breaks his chain and runs away from the house with his owner's tractor. Along the way, Elvis meets Marnie who thinks that she's still on the mission assigned to her by Paul, and she joins the dog on the tractor. They are also met by Ethbord, the rooster who is still on the run from the chickens, and he joins them on the tractor. The dog's owner appears behind them, chasing them with his car and shooting his rifle at them and they drive off. They meet a zebra along the way who asks for a lift, but they don't stop for him. After a while, the tractor breaks down and as they alight to repair it, the zebra catches up with them. He introduces himself to Marnie and the other two animals. They are interrupted again by Elvis' owner, who chases them with an aircraft, shooting bullets at them. Across the road, the two other thieves, Paul's partners, park their van along the road. Elvis sees them and races towards the vehicle with the other animals following him. He gets behind the wheels, and they all drive away. They drive for a while and decide to stop at a barn and pass the night there. Back at home, Marnie's owner arrives home and asks for her whereabouts. Paul tells her that the cat packed her bags and left the house. Miss Sunshine becomes frantic and starts searching for Marnie in the middle of the night. The next day, she goes to the police station to file a missing report case for her cat. Marnie and the other animals find the paintings that were stolen by the thieves, and she suggests that they return the loot to the police. Together, they all set out in the van to go return the loot. 
On their way there, Marnie places a call to her house, informing them that she has found the stolen paintings and is handing them over to the police. Paul being the only one in the house hears this and gets uneasy and places a call to the other two thieves ordering them to retrieve the paintings from the animals. At the police station, Miss Sunshine receives information that Marnie belongs to a gang of fugitive thieves. The animals have been wrongly tagged as the thieves behind the burglary in the town. Marnie and the other animals arrive at the police station to hand the stolen paintings to them, but they are met with resistance. The officers point guns at them and order them to surrender, the animals are confused and Elvis drives the van away from the station. The officers hop into their vehicles and engage Marnie and her friends in a hot chase. The animals successfully dodge the police, but they get into an accident a few moments later. Their vehicle becomes damaged and they are left stranded. It begins to rain, and they scamper to find a shed for the rain. During this, the animals notice that the zebra's skin color has been washed off, they ask to inquire about it, and he tells them the truth, he is a donkey and his name is Anthon. Anthon painted himself like a zebra so he could be able to perform in a circus as he has always wished. Later on, Marnie and the animal try to solve the mystery surrounding the thefts in the town, and after conducting research, they find out that the stolen paintings were made by the same artists. These paintings are currently worth a fortune, so Paul and his men steal them. Marnie finally solves the mystery and informs the animals of where the thieves would go next, the chicken farm. So in the evening, they all arrive at the chicken farm to find out who the thief is. Paul flies in with his wheelchair, and this time, he's alone on the operation, so he seeks to make it quick. The animals watch his dark figure enter the house and come out with a stolen painting. Marnie takes a picture of him with her camera, and she is shocked to see Paul. He starts chasing her and the other animals, demanding that Marnie hands the photo to him. Paul gets a hold of Ethboard and threatens to hurt him if Marnie and the other animals don't hand the photo to him, as well as the other stolen paintings. They hand everything to him, but to their disappointment, Paul doesn't return the rooster as promised and he takes him away with him. Marnie immediately attempts to draw a new plan, and Elvis angrily shuts her off. He tells her that their plans have failed, and they are all in danger because of her. He calls her a stupid house cat who has seen too many crime shows. Elvis walks away, leaving just Anthon and Marnie behind. A sad Marnie informs the donkey that it is best that they go their separate ways and Anthon reluctantly goes away. Marnie is alone on the farm, and she gets surrounded by some of the townspeople who are searching for the thieves. They apprehend her and lock her in an animal center. The next morning, Anthon the donkey leaves Drabble and Elvis finds a home in an old junkyard. Along the way, Anthon sees a page from a newspaper announcing that Marnie has been arrested and captured, so he heads back into the town to find the other animals and inform them of this news. Ethbor the rooster was placed by Paul and inside a refrigerator, and the chicken got covered in ice. It is in this state that Miss Sunshine finds him, bringing him out of the fridge and breaking the ice off him. He sees the stolen paintings and also Paul's photos taken by Marnie, so he runs out of the house to inform her. On his way out, he overhears some visitors informing Miss Sunshine and Paul that Marnie is in solitary confinement. Later at night, Marnie from her cell sees a ladder and watches Elvis, Ethbord and Anthon sneak into the animal center to rescue her. The animals successfully help Marnie escape the cell, and she is happy to see them. Ethbord informs her of everything he saw and hands her the photo that Paul stole from her. Together, they draw a plan on how to catch Paul and his accomplices. The next morning, Paul is on the phone with a potential buyer for all the paintings which he stole, and they agree to carry out the transaction the next day. Getting off the call, he is excited about the success of his heist. Suddenly, he sees a picture of him breaking into a house on a billboard across the house. He hurriedly heads towards it and starts covering the picture with paint. Seeing that Paul is out of the house, Marnie and her friends sneak into the house and head to her room. Inside her room, they place an emergency call to the police using the voice of S character from Marnie's favorite show. After Paul is done covering the picture on the billboard, he enters back into the house but gets trapped in a cellar by Marnie and her friends. Miss Sunshine brings him out of there, but she has also found out the truth. She gets furious at her stepbrother and promises to report him to the police. Paul shoves her aside and begins to fly off in his wheelchair, but Miss Sunshine grabs onto the chair and they both fly together in the air. Marnie and her friends head out to go save Miss Sunshine. They get into an aircraft with Elvis behind the wheel. The police arrive at Miss Sunshine's house but find no one in it. They look across and see the animals, so they go after them. Elvis doesn't know how to start the aircraft, so Ethboard reads out the instructions from the manual. As they gradually get the craft up in the air, Elvis' owner appears and shoots the aircraft, causing a hole in the petrol tank. Marnie uses her finger to close up the hole, and they navigate their way to save Miss Sunshine. Paul drives his wheelchair far high into the sky and this makes his stepsister scared, making her lose her grip on the chair. She starts falling, but she's saved by the animals in the aircraft. They fly the craft toward Paul and his wheelchair, and Anthon begins dragging the box containing the stolen paintings with him. 
Gradually, they all crash into an ongoing circus event. The donkey is excited and starts performing because he has always wanted to perform at the circus. The audience is first shocked but gradually starts enjoying his performance. The police interrupt the show and try to take Marnie, Elvis, Ethboard, and Anton away. But Miss Sunshine tells the police that they are innocent and announces that Paul is the actual thief. Paul tries to get away, but he is stopped by Elvis and the photo of him at the crime scene is collected from him and presented as evidence to the police. Marnie solves her first case as a detective and Paul and his accomplices are arrested and put behind bars. The town gives Marnie and her friends recognition, thanking them for returning peace and tranquility, and to show their gratitude, they gift the team a cash reward. Drabble returns to the beautiful and peaceful town it once was, and Marnie leaves home to experience so many adventures outside Drabble. She and her friends form a crime-solving team who goes from one place to another to solve crimes and bring criminals to book. They drive off into the sunset with their heart filled with joy and mouths filled with laughter. The end. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe to help us grow.